Let's now move on to the next important concept. Again, very, very important. Co-prime numbers. So what does that mean? It means that if two numbers, let's say 9, 4, if I come up with the prime factorization of those numbers, that's what I have done here. I would not find any common prime factors between these two numbers. If that is the case, then those two numbers 9 and 4 are known as co-prime. See, the key thing here is that neither 9 nor 4 is actually prime. 4 is not prime, it is divisible by 2. 9 is also not prime, it is divisible by 3. But when together, when considered together, we can say that 9 is co-prime. Okay, so co-prime is the relationship. Okay, so co-prime is actually the relationship between these two numbers. I cannot say that 9 is co-prime. No, no, no. It is not, does not apply <laughs> to the number itself, one number. But co-prime denotes the relationship between two numbers or three numbers, saying that they have no common factors between them except one. Okay. Using the same terminology, using the same uh, sort of understanding, we can conclude that all prime numbers, for example, 3 and 2, they are co-prime. They are naturally co-prime because between these numbers 3 and 2, I cannot find any common factor except 1. So 3 and 2, uh, all the prime numbers are co-primes, but other than the prime numbers, I can still have co-prime numbers. So here we have an example of three numbers. 9, 4 and 35, they have no common factors between them and therefore except one of course and therefore they are all co-prime to each other. So co-prime, remember it denotes relationship between numbers. It does not apply to an individual number. Very, very important.